This morning, we are embracing spring by bringing more green into our homes. Plants have been shown to boost our moods, relieve stress, and even help purify our air. So we called on an expert who's helped us through many a plant crisis. He's an expert indeed. <laughs> Magnolia Network's Hilton Carter, plant therapist. He's also a stylist. He's an author as well. In fact, he just released a new book yesterday. It's called Living Wild, How to Plant Style oh, cool. Your Home, Cultivate Happiness. Hilton, we always love it when you come. Yes. Out. And I love being here. Thank you. So thanks for having me. So for folks who want to bring some, some more greenery into their homes, yes. but they're looking at low light areas, perhaps sure. a reading nook, a library, what, what sorts of plants should they consider? You want to look for low light tolerance plants. Okay. Okay. All plants love a lot of light, but there are some plants that can tolerate lower bits of it. So plants like this particular uh, silver pothos here. You can also work with uh, terrarium plants like ferns uh, can do well in lower light. And I will say not every Everyone has the, I guess, availability of bright light in their homes, mm -hmm. and not everyone can take care of a plant. Yeah. So you can do faux greenery oh, as well. Oh. Uh, things that kind of yeah, look real. Right. You were, you, you were, I guess, almost tricked to believe that was I real. Did, I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Those are all faux plants that you can maneuver, mm -hmm. push around your homes in spots that don't get a lot of light at all. I'm that. very oh, into terrariums are great. Kids love them. Yeah. I feel like that's the special. It's a special little thing to add into someone's yeah. space. Mm -hmm. A little greenhouse, of the course. The faux plants look very real now. That is a that's, thing. That's yeah. the all way right. to go our, about it. Our second spot is inspired by Craig and Lindsay's home. Uh, yes, uh, this is not my plan for. for no. I was going to say, if you brought your plant back to life like yeah. that. No, that was there. that's but the plant. We, that's that, your fiddly fig there. Yeah, that's that's when it was in our bedroom, Hilton. We had to move it down to the family room. Okay. Because we felt like after consulting with you, we felt like we needed to reposition it, needed some additional light, and we started. We changed the watering technique, and we also now, per your recommendation, we spray the leaves as well. There we and go. And boy, was Lindsay tired when she brought that down. <laughs> But well, it is about creating a nice it, it is, nook with a big It plant. is. It's all about making sure that you are indeed living wild, but bringing that indoor element out, I mean, that, that outdoor element indoors right. and surrounding yourself with, with greenery so that it can also just not uh, make your space brighter, yeah. but also brighten your own mood. What yeah. about places that have a lot of high humidity, like your high humidity. kitchen? Bathrooms, kitchens, we're talking about plants that are going to love those sort of spaces. Mm -hmm. So plants like ferns, calatheas, uh, anthuriums, uh, uh, air plants, Ooh, all of this? these plants. That, that's an air plant. Oh. Uh, air plant? Yeah, th huh. these particular plants love humidity, high humidity areas, so bathrooms, kitchens. But do now, they need light? They do need light. All plants need light, mm -hmm. for sure. But they can light tolerate light light. lower light, <laughs> uh, especially your ferns, your calatheas. Can can also tolerate those lower bits of light as well. But what's great about these plants is that they need moisture, a lot of moisture. Uh, so when you place them in places that have a lot of moisture, like yeah. kitchens, bathrooms, place them near your sink, you're always reminded to then They're give like, them oh, back here. Craig likes this segment so much that he says love and light. He wore all green and, <laughs> and changed yeah. his shoes to green <laughs> shoelaces. Craig is my guy. Look at you, guys, man. Guys. How's your Craig? So speaking of light, you Please. recommended last time this olive tree that you I had did. gifted me. Yes. Um, you said it it needs more light. So now I've been following the light in my house. I leave it in the light at okay, all times. Okay, how's time. it doing? This is what it used to look like. Okay. Um, and now we have a picture, which I'm just so proud of. Oh, wow. Wow. look at that. Wow. What a difference Shit. light makes. And look at it in the light there. And now it's and on the stairs. Say, oh, I move it all over the house <laughs> to get light. Wouldn't it freak you out if you came light. downstairs and it was moving by itself? <laughs> it, it could. And it does. With light, your plants actually do move. So move towards the light. What is the plan for some indoor plants that you have right now with the warmer weather? Can you just put them outside? For sure. Most of our indoor plants want to be outside. Oh. So when spring, summer hits, you're going to push those plants out into those places, those spaces that mm -hmm. get the type of light that mm -hmm. they can actually. But even the, the the weather, you know, I mean, the heavy rain or wind, they can yes. withstand that. Yes. Okay. It all depends on what types of plants you have. So you also want to just prepare yourself or prepare mm -hmm. your plants for that transition outdoors. So make sure that if you have a plant that could blow over, they're in heavier pots. And okay. by the way, stacking stones. I, you know, why I'm in a good mood oh, because of my my plants in my dressing room. Oh, your dressing Roker's got room. a he's got great plants. All right, we got to go. Hilton, oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, oh, you oh, you talk all no, these are. Oh, look at these plants. Oh, oh, he look doesn't look water himself. Like, <laughs> of course I do. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com/slash/all day or click the link right here.